Welcome to another curiosity around the world. Here are some interesting facts and curiosities about the Death's Head Sphinx Moth. Name and Appearance The Death's Head Sphinx Moth gets its name from the distinctive skull-shaped pattern on its thorax, resembling a death's head. Size and Wingspan These moths are considered large, with a wingspan that can measure up to 13 centimeters. Mimicry and Defense the skull-like appearance on the moth's back is a defense mechanism against predators. It can raise its front part and emit a churring sound, which scares off potential attackers. Feeding During their caterpillar stage, they primarily feed on plants in the Solanaceae family, such as potatoes and tomatoes. Life Cycle The death's head sphinx moth undergoes complete metamorphosis, with an egg, caterpillar, pupa, and adult stage. The pupal stage is particularly interesting as they construct an underground cocoon where they transform into an adult. Geographic Distribution This species can be found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Africa, Asia, and North America. Pollinators Despite their intimidating appearance, death's head sphinx moths are important pollinators, especially for nocturnal flowers. Cultural Interactions the image of the skull on the moth's back has been associated with various meanings in different cultures, ranging from superstitious beliefs to symbols of transformation and rebirth. Ecological Significance Although they are nocturnal moths and often go unnoticed, death's head sphinx moths play a crucial role in ecosystems by acting as pollinators and a food source for other animals. Conservation While they are not considered endangered, Habitat loss and environmental degradation can impact the population of these moths in the long run. These are just a few of the fascinating facts and curiosities about the Death's Head Sphinx Moth. They are unique creatures that play an important role in nature and deserve to be appreciated and conserved. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.